What's going on guys? It's me, Stock Picks by Tim, and in this video, I'm going to give you five stocks to buy now. We do have a red day today, and I think it's a great opportunity to look at a couple of stocks. So we're going to look over these five stocks. First, I'm going to glance at Bitcoin and just show you what's going on on the chart, and let's check it out. All right, so don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You know the deal. But looking at Bitcoin, we are still in a beautiful upward channel. And for Bitcoin, I want to personally see us hold above 23,000. Since we are continuing in an upward trend, you guys might remember last time I said 22.7. We didn't not hit that we in fact kept moving forwards as we move upward on this uptrend we have a bit less room to drop as we continue higher so our magic number for this trend to continue is about 23,000. i want to see bitcoin hold 23,000, and then we can definitely continue now getting into the five stocks to buy now first off we're going to look at workhorse and their earnings is actually coming august 8th now i believe this isn't confirmed yet but it will be around this date so get ready and looking at workhorse you'll see that it had a false breakout out of this upward channel and now we're coming back a little bit i think it's a great time to add to it and this is one of those stocks that didn't break their may 11 may 12 max fear max low day and just looking at the chart i do think it's going to try to hold about three dollars up as a support we do have earnings coming i think it's going to start trading in the middle of this channel somewhere consolidating a little bit leading up to earnings before it then will pick a direction next up is going to be Indy, and this one has actually uptrended very nice once it broke out of that 610 now for me right now i'm not adding to Indy because i'm basically fully extended i also have warrants but if i wasn't so overextended on Indy, i think now would be a great time to just add a little bit although it may pull back a little bit more we may of course get a little bump and show a head and shoulders and fall back further maybe test 630 but if you're just going to watch for this one i would watch for anywhere from 630 to 650 i think that would be a great entry point just to chip away at indy but this is another one earnings is coming up i believe um august 11 or august 10 very very early another one that's got earnings in just a few weeks so keep an eye on Indy. consider buying throughout earnings not just going in with one lump sum consider adding throughout time maybe even waiting until after earnings typically earnings comes out for Indy. they'll usually beat their revenue slightly they've been continuing in an upward revenue trajectory and they have been giving good guidance every time so i'm feeling positive about earnings and i think it's a matter of time until this doesn't see the five sixes or sevens anymore next up is going to be the the only large cap on this list and this is going to be amd advanced micro devices stock now this one has been absolutely running once we broke out of our resistance here it's been pushing onward we are still in this upward channel and it looks like we are about to bounce right around this 88 dollar level and continue onward now if the market allows it it's very likely that this trend will just continue you could ride the momentum set a stop loss and go from there and if it does break this trend line it's very possible we find support right around 85 dollars or so but it really does depend on where the market wants to go where does tech want to go over the next couple months i personally think amd is still a good time to average through and i've said this before that to me anything under 100 is i think good for a dca into amd this one tends to be very good for breakout trades and you'd want to go long go in on a call if we can break 91 dollars very likely we start pushing towards 93 and you can scalp it and to the downside if we were to break 85 very likely we'd come down to about 82 83 you can definitely play those scalp it on a day trade and just get it in and out on a breakout but i do see amd as a good long-term stock and anything under 100 i'm more than happy to add to and the next stock on this list of stocks to buy now is going to be astra astr now you're going to want to keep an eye on either their twitter or their facebook they do give updates when their next launch is going to be and it will be a matter of time until they get their next launch and this one has been just absolutely decimated over the last couple of months this was trading all the way around nine ten dollar area and it's all the way down to a dollar thirty now one thing with astra is they did break their may 11 may 12 lows and their last low is actually the 30th of June, so really not too far ago, not too long ago. But ever since then, it has been uptrending, creating higher lows. I personally want to see it bounce off of this line. I think the bounce of this would be a great time to enter and continue that uptrend. If it breaks this, you can always set a stop loss under this. So if it breaks, it stops you out and you don't get, lose that much money. For me, Astra is just an average through, and I do try to pop it here and there, just add a little bit to my position. Now, of course, there is that fear that if we break a dollar and stay under there, we get a little bit of negative uh, pessimism, you know, you get people worried about delisting fears and that the negativity that comes with that. So keep an eye on Astra. We want to stay above a dollar or it gets into that kind of negative cycle of delisting fears and then that pushes it down just the negativity that's associated with that, of course. But I do see Astra as a great time to add and it's only a matter of time until we get our next launch. But will it be successful? That's the big question. And finally, we've got CleanSpark, CLSK. And this one did break out of its downward wedge. I think it's a great time to add to it personally. But be aware, you know, if Bitcoin starts pulling back, starts breaking back under 20,000, very likely CleanSpark 
comes down towards these lows, comes down towards $4, maybe even test the high threes. We were very quick to get in and get out of the threes. And if Bitcoin can hold over 20,000, even slightly uptrend, I don't see a clean spark coming under $4 personally, but there's always that possibility that, you know, Bitcoin drops, maybe even test that $17,000 area and then CleanSpark can test its lows as well. I just personally don't see it. I think Bitcoin's uptrend is starting. Is there a possibility to catch it under 20,000? I do think so, and I'm gonna be keeping an eye on Bitcoin, but you know, there's also that possibility that it doesn't happen and Bitcoin just continues. Remember, we really don't have any resistance points from you know the low 20s to about 28,000. So do we push up towards 28, towards 30, and then we don't see the low 20s again? It's anybody's guess. All I know is I'm happy to add to CleanSpark, and I'm looking at this multiple years out. You know, I'm at least looking at this with the next having in mind. I'm not looking at this a couple months out because it's very possible that this is lower in price a couple months out. However, a couple years out, I expect this to be dramatically higher in price, and that's just my expectation. But let me know what you guys think about CleanSpark. Let me know what you guys think about all of these stocks. Thanks so much for watching guys and take it easy.